Welcome back to Highline Memorial Stadium. And it's time to wrap up this broadcast for the Alderson's Awards West Printwares postgame show. For trophies, awards, T-shirts, and so much more, go to aldersons.net for their full catalog. Welcome back to Highline Memorial Stadium. Paul Beatty along with Dan Gilmore and Stacy Edwards. For those watching live or on demand, or if you're watching this postgame show and the recap that you found on the elisportsnetwork.com, Here's how we got to this 59-14 to 14 final. And, Dan, you've got the quick rundown for us. <laughs> it was a whole lot of scoring, Paul. You want me to get more specific than that? Yeah, a little bit here. <laughs> okay. Well, we had touchdowns by Watkins. Watkins. Uh, interceptions by Malloy. 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 Watkins had four touchdowns. Uh, Richardson had a couple. Shell had one. And Donovan Lowe had one. Final score, of course, uh, 59 to 14. Uh, over on the other side of the ball, um, Brown on a keeper scored a touchdown, and uh, the uh, young uh, Dorian Thomas scored a touchdown. So our final score again, 59 to 14. That sounds like a blowout, and it was, but uh, Kent Ridge is able to play. Kent Ridge has a future, unfortunately, for the Chargers. It wasn't here on Memorial Field tonight. Are we ready for the players of the game? Well, let's get to our MVPs of the night, and we'll start with the Kent Ridge Chargers. Who, who do you guys come up with? Well, I think it's unanimous, except for the two for the two of us anyway, uh, Paul. Dorian Thomas had a touchdown and did a lot of the duties on running back. He is my choice. Stacy. Yeah. Yours as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he did things on both sides of the ball. His effort was there from beginning to end. Seems like he's a kid that understands that it's a process and being bought into that process, um, he's leading by example. And for the home team? Oh, my. Three interceptions and a punt return for a touchdown. I've got to go with Isaiah Malloy. Absolutely. Uh, just outstanding um, all, all around the field tonight. Did a great job at that free safety spot, being that general that he's supposed to be back there controlling the airways. Spent a lot of time in the middle of the field in that single high safety. Did a good job of keeping an eye on the quarterback, but at the same time protecting the middle of the field so that his cornerbacks on the outside, outside knew that they had that confidence in him that he would protect them on those post patterns. All right. Well, I'll be the center here because – the freshman set a new record for freshman th throws, uh, and uh, I guess I'll be the dissenter just to make sure we get this uh, this uh, stat out. <laughs> you had a freshman starting uh, at quarterback who broke Sam Heward's record with five touchdown tosses. And I hope him as golden of a future as Sam Heward seems to have right now. Devin Forehand, welcome to the varsity, and we'll look forward to seeing him next week. But Mr. Malloy will be the MVP of this game for Kennedy Catholic. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you, Stacy and Dan, once again, for your great work here at Highline Memorial Stadium. One last time, Kennedy Catholic runs away with it, 59-14. We'll talk to you next time here on the Eli and NFHS Sports Network.